Welcome to our lesson about depth of field. Let's go to the Inventor Studio environment. Click on the Environments tab. Click on Inventor Studio. I want to create an accent on this cap here. Now, so far we've done this by pointing the light source at the cap and making the background slightly darker. The depth of field option and controls that we'll learn about in this lesson give us an additional way to do this. Let's render our image. The Render Image dialog window opens. Camera 1 is pre-selected as our view for size 640 by 480. On the Output tab, let's select High Anti-Aliasing. Back to the General tab and let's click Render. And Inventor Studio processes our request. Renders our image. We're almost done. OK. Now let's say even though my background is darker, I'd still like more focus on the cap. Let's learn how we can achieve this. I'll close this output and close the Render Image dialog window. Let's expand the Cameras branch of the tree. Right-click on Camera 1 and select Edit. Here we can enable the Depth of Field option. In order to activate this option, we're going to need to be in Perspective Projection. Let's select it and enable the Depth of Field. Two methods can be used to define the area in focus focus limits or f-stop. Focus limits are defined by two planes, and the area between those two planes is what remains in focus. The f-stop method defines the plane to focus upon. For this example, I'm going to use focus limits. And let's check the link focus plane to camera target option. Check this if you plan to move the camera during the animation. This keeps the camera target in focus during the animation process. To better illustrate what's happening, I'm going to rotate to the side. Let's take a side view. Here's the mirror and the far plane. The area between these planes remains in focus. Let's set the near plane to 5 inches. And let's set the far plane to 6.75 inches. Actually, let's set it to even 7 inches. Now our cap is in focus and the background is a little bit blurry. Let's click OK to exit this dialog window. And let's click on Render Image again. Camera 1 is selected for the view. Let's click Render. And I'll actually pause this video during the rendering process. It's going to take just a little bit. OK, the rendering process is nearly complete. The cap stays in focus and the background is a little bit blurry. And this concludes our lesson about using the depth of field option.